Well, we finally got to the Eventide booth. Let's see what our friends have to tell us. Welcome, friends of Delta Records. My name is Joe Causey from Eventide, here at the NAM booth, introducing you to the new Bluetooth iPad app for the H90 Harmonizer. Finally, you can control the pedal through an iOS device by downloading from the App Store, obviously, and in the new version of H90 Control from our website, you can create lists, create programs, store presets, organize all your sounds, and control it through the app. Also at this show, we're showing all the pedal fans the new Riptide, which combines Overdrive with Univibes. Both effects come in two flavors. Obviously in green mode, the Overdrive is like the TS9, a dynamic overdrive, but with an emphasis on the mids. And in red mode, it gives you a more balanced overdrive, but with more gain. On the Univibe side, simulates the Zinyi Univ. It's famous for guitarists like Jimi Hendrix, you know? And in red mode, it adds like a deep phase for a stronger modulation effect, right? With this button, you can switch the effects. I mean, you can have drive in front of Univibe or vice versa, and the controls are simplified. We have three knobs for each effect. It's the new Riptide pedal from Eventide. And finally, we're showing the Omnipressor. The Omnipressor is a Dynamics processor that came out in 1974, and it was very famous because it's not only a limiting compressor, but it gives you effects called dynamic reversals. This means you can make a cymbal sound less loud at the beginning and louder as it sustains. So they are very unique effects, and they give a lot of character, for example, to drums, to vocals. Brian May of Queen used it for his guitar sound. Foo Fighters engineers used it to process Dave's vocals and lead guitar on the first album. It's a 50th anniversary reissue of Omnipressor that's available now. So everyone else can see that we have all the products, including the Misha, which is a control and interval based sequencer. Very interesting. I recommend that you go to eventideaudio.com to see all the new products. We thank you very much. But Eventide not only has hardware, it also has software. Here they are going to share with us a little bit more of these spectacular plugins. Hi Julio, and at Delta Records, yeah. I'm Russ from uh, Eventide. This is, we're at our satellite plugins booth here. Just wanna to talk to you guys about some of the new stuff we have, some of the stuff you might not know about. Uh -huh. um, number one is up is uh, Split EQ. Uh, this was kind of our game changing EQ uh, where we can actually split a signal into transient total components and let you EQ them. Uh, the greatest thing about this is transient plus total equals your original signal. So this is surgical, non-destructive, very powerful EQ. Hot off the presses uh, from our, our, our brother company, Newfangled Audio. Um, this is a really great uh, instinctual and yet somehow deep diving delay plugin. It's essentially a feedback echo delay that you can almost interact with and change the filter that's in the feedback loop. You can add drive and noise. You can do all, you have a transient designer, a compressor ducking all at the same time, uh, and then reverb. And then we recently did these really simple one knob plugins. Um, this is D-Boom. So we're not hiding what this is. It's just a really quick way to do one of the common tasks people are finding that you split EQ for, which is, T-booming sources that have a lot of excess low end. Uh, the knob basically does something like this. That's that's D-boom. On the other side of the spectrum, Sheen Machine. A lot of times you want to add presence or air to vocals without harsh transients, or even like drums or guitar. You don't want to bring up the pick noise. So that's what this does. Under the hood, it's basically. Uh, let me go to the shelf. It's basically this. For the people who are in, who, who are greedier for more channels, more audio, yeah, you want to be bigger than stereo. We've developed immersive plugins. Uh, these have recently have all the way up to 916 now, which is the top end of the Atmos standard. Uh, this is running 712 micro pitch immersive. So we sort of take take taking that classic stereo spreading trick of let's just detune and delay a little on each uh -huh. side. Um, 
and this is really classic trick for vocals. This is like the main thing of the H3000 that everyone uses it for, right? Um, so my thought was, well, what if we did it in 3D? So I call it Cartesian detuning. So yeah, you have left, right detuning, front, rear detuning, and top main detuning. And it, we get creative with the delays. Um, because you have delays all around you, we kind of allow different patterns of feedback. Everything that Eventide has to offer is amazing. If you think this video could be useful for a friend, don't hesitate to share it. Subscribe and turn on the bell. I hope you like this video. Take care of yourself. Bye.